This is the furthest the European Tour has ever come. The golfers really are breaking new ground here. Well, the Philippines comprises over 7,000 islands grouped off the southeast coast of mainland Asia and dividing the Pacific Ocean from the South China Sea. Legacy course here at the Orchard Club, designed by the legendary Arnold Palmer. This is his verdict of the course. The golf course is not going to be that difficult. We will see some good scores. Uh, and uh, if the wind dies, hopefully it won't. Uh, but if it does, uh, we will see some very low scores. On the other side of it, if the wind blows and, and keeps the... Uh, uh, some interest in, and, and, and you know, or maybe you do, uh, that the wind here uh, switches about halfway through the day. It, it comes from, from the east and then goes to the west, or comes from the west and goes to the east. And there is really, oh, I suppose there's a pattern, but you can't depend on that pattern. So that will help the golf course consider. Dozen players broke par early on. Don Walsworth of the United States is 69. Ian Palmer, 67, the former winner of this particular tour. Well, that's the best round of the day so far. This is Couples. Huge drive. As I say, this is the absolute Sunday best of perhaps running on the front of the green. <laughs> At the fourth, he'll put himself very much in the fight. He's a real sticker, is Montgomery. He hangs on in there. Just plays as well as possible from tee to green, and it's very rare he misses the green. Well, he can, but it's racing by, and it'll keep on going. Seven or eight feet. his first birdie of the day. Thus far had nine pars on the first nine holes. He's on 36, and that's number 10. And that's Gary Clark's new putt as well, which he bought here. The... And we're also looking anxious to trying to hold it. Trying to do a little bit of a run at the hole. And he's looking for... Building up super lead, did tap in there. And uh, uh, Campbell completed that hole. I'm sure he's going to be a winner. Anybody who can fit in these right at the peak of his form, obviously after that win in Australia. And Ballesteros did nudge his way up that leaderboard, but... Aoki, who last year won uh, the uh, Bank Oil Classic and the Brickyard Crossing in the United States. Yes, they've made a wonderful partnership. Of course, won two Masters Championships together. Now, here is Minyoza, the local hero from the Philippines, whose participation was in doubt up until yesterday.
Second in 1994 to Greg Norman, a winner for the second consecutive week. The one in the Middle East in Dubai, wins in Asia at the Orchard Golf and Country Club. French couples is the Johnny Walker man from the United States of America, Fred Couple. <laughs> thank you. Uh, before we get into thank yous and everything, I'd like to say a quick thing that uh, there's enough energy and pressure out there trying to beat Nick Price and Robert Allen being Greg Norman, but when you have the president following you, it makes you twice as nervous. So uh, I, I'd like to maybe not being the last group when we come back here it might be a little easier but I would like to thank Lord McFarlane and Bob Taylor of United Distillers for taking this tournament to the standard that all the players like to have it at and Steve Foxcroft for taking care of all the players here at the Johnny Walker tournament uh, again President Ramos and First Lady it's very exciting to come play here I think you've got a great country all these people here have rallied behind me and the rest of us but <laughs> <laughs> 